Carlos, I have with me the honor of meeting Mr. Olivier Crusp. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Fine, thank you. He made the time after the event last night. It got a little busy and uh, he went with me on Saturday. Exactly, exactly. It's a special day. Yes. Uh, but it's also exciting to, um, to talk about uh, uh, perfumes um, to, uh, um, I mean, uh, addict people, um, passionate people. Uh, I love that, really. Yes, we're addicts and yes, we're passionate. <laughs> if you don't know, you should know, but this gentleman has created the iconic Terry Mugler Angel. He's done one of my favorites, Versace, Man O' Fresh. True. He's done almost all of the Mercedes-Benz collection. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. Yeah, why you sell um, um, Black Opium and as well Mont Paris. Ah, my as well. Yeah. He has quite the resume, and I'm really honored to have you on my channel. Thank you. <laughs> so now his latest project is with Parfum de Marley, and he's created Sedley. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, Sedley. Um, uh, in fact, um, it's a co-creation because I've been working with Hamid uh, Merati, yes, who's I know him well. a, a great perfumer based in uh, um, Dubai. Dubai, and um, I, am, I have a kind of uh, admiration for Hamid because he's a First of all, a hard worker, mm -hmm. but secondly, he knows how to make some strong fragrances, some long lasting fragrances. And you will notice that, and you all know that the uh, DNA of uh, Parfum Marley, uh, first of all, they are using the best qualities, mm -hmm. but on top of that, um, they look also for strength, diffusion, sillage. You cannot be successful without those uh, uh, details. Uh, Absolutely, and I agree. details are making success, of course. For sure. So you want to go through some of the ingredients that you use to create Sedley? Yeah, exactly. Um, the thing is, um, as I, I was mentioning, uh, uh, creation of uh, fragrances um, will go through uh, good qualities of uh, ingredients. And I have to say that uh, at Firmenich in Paris, uh, we are using in our palette, we have 1500 ingredients, uh, maybe uh, 100, uh, 1000 uh, uh, natural ingredients, uh, okay. wh which we are sourcing uh, directly to the uh, farmers. And uh, maybe five, uh, well, 500 molecules, uh, you know, that we are uh, making as well in uh, Geneva. And um, we are using really the, the, the best ingredients. And I'm going to show you, uh, Carlos, the, the bergamot. It's, uh, it's a pure bergamot uh, growing, harvested in um, uh, Calabria, in the south okay. of uh, Italy. But the thing is, uh, the quality is really gorgeous. It's a pure one. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is, we, uh, we have improved the extraction. In order to have uh, a normal extraction, we have been uh, cutting this uh, extraction in three parts. You have okay. the top, the middle, and the dry down. And as we uh, wanted uh, with Amid, uh, you know, something very, uh, not splashy, but fizzy, sparkling, uh, with lots of uh, energy, um, we said, you know, the top knot of bergamot could, uh, could fit very well. Mm -hmm. And you will notice as well that that special quality of bergamot smells like freesia. It's fresh, freesia like slightly fruity. I was going to just say, that's what, I mean, they don't want to interrupt you, but it's a little <laughs> fruity to me, yeah, to yeah, my nose. Yeah, yeah. to me, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I go back with my memories of, uh, you know, going in a, in a flowery shop uh, mm -hmm. and, well, you know, buying some nice yellow um, a freesia bouquet which smells gorgeous and it, they remind me always ber bergamot so it's bergamot and freesia amazing bergamot's a bitter citrus yeah it's a, um, i won't say bitter it's it's green when uh, you harvest uh, in uh, november okay but it's it's uh, very fruity uh, more sweet you know in uh, february That's and is a, it native to italy mostly uh you have uh, you have i mean it's in, uh, mainly italy and also uh, ivory Coast, okay. Coast, Côte d'Ivoire, we say, in the north part, north part of uh, Côte d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, only, it's uh, amazing. It's a 
a small uh, small tree uh, growing and uh, we are uh, harvesting in uh, in uh, in the, in, um, in december i mean november december uh, which is the uh, winter season mm -hmm. All right. So, what do we have next? <laughs> <laughs> so, so next, in in order to make it, uh, you know, uh, uh, fizzy and usual, um, we wanted to to add uh, a trace of mint. And I think there is a trend coming everywhere, but especially in the in the U.S. Uh, so that's why I've been using a, a typical mint coming from Oregon. You know, uh, American mint. Yeah, uh, yeah, American mint. And immediately, this is very figurative. It <laughs> this is like chewing gum. <laughs> exactly, it's so the uh, Hollywood chewing gum, more or less. <laughs> for sure, <know>? for sure. <laughs> so you have a cool effect, very, very fresh, slightly green, um, and it's it's growing. You know, it's going uh, up uh, to uh, to the top. You know, to the yeah. And the, I the found it not to be overly minty in the opening of Sedley. Like it was there, but it wasn't so. Yeah, outright chewing gum, smelling mouthwash, sure, sure. like I said in the video. But as soon as you uh, you you spray it on, on your uh, wrist, mm -hmm. for example, you will see it's uh, fresh, and suddenly you you find the uh, minty facet. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Sure. And uh, and then as we we, we wanted to um, to be original, and we are not following the, the market. Uh, we don't want to be in the air du temps. But mm -hmm. we just want to uh, to break the rules, you see. Um, we've been using some hivernal neo, which also a very interesting uh, ingredient made by uh, Fermenich. Um, it's amazing because it's very watery. Uh, I, I'm going to show it to you. It is fresh, very strong because it's only a, a dilution of uh, ten percent. You see. And uh, it's very transparent. It's uh, almost watery. Watery. Yeah. It's clean, watery, mm -hmm. slightly white, you see. And to me, uh, that brings uh, a kind of a dewy effect, you know. Okay. When you, when you, when you walk in the, in the morning, you see, um, in the fields, and, um, and then you, you can discover the, uh, um, I mean, the, the flowers or um, anything around. It's, it's a little bit, it's slightly a, a bit wet. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is very interesting. So the combination of, uh, um, I would say, uh, bergamot combined with mint, with the uh, neo hivernal, then we have been added up also some uh, grapefruit, some lemon. Mm -hmm. You see, so we have something fresh. But the thing is, um, you know, we we don't want we didn't want to make a, a cologne because a cologne doesn't last. So the challenge, in fact was to find the right balance between the top mm -hmm. and the dry down. Because the dry down is going to, do, to give the, the strength, the diffusion, as well the long lastingness. Yes. And uh, if, if you, we, we don't respect that, then um, the, the, the perfume is not going to, uh, to, to, to hold on, on, the, on the skin, mm -hmm. you see? Um, so, and also it's interesting because as soon as I'm using more woods, then slightly I am uh, uh, covering the uh, the freshness. So took us uh, with um, Hamid took us uh, not years but months and months to uh, I mean to, to find the right balance mm -hmm. between freshness, the uh, the cool effect, and the uh, dry down, which is very uh, sensual, very uh, um, yeah very sensual and uh, and very strong. It's uh, it's also a growing dry down. Uh, I mean, boosting the whole fragrance. And uh, I'm going to show you the, the, the cashmere wood. Cashmere wood also is a molecule discovered by Firmenich. That cashmere wood is, is a great accord. Yeah, the, 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 it's not, I mean, the cashmere wood is a, a pure molecule, you know, and uh, over the years, we tried to, to, to improve it. Um, and I have to say, we have a pure quality very very strong at the beginning we were using in the formulas um i mean three four years ago uh, one percent or two percent but today because it's pure it's refined it's posh as well you you can use ten percent and in uh, this creation we've been using ten percent um, uh, it's amazing you will see it is um woody it is musky very complex and uh, slightly uh, spicy as well. 
but it's seductive. It's it's yes. got a very um, it's warm. It's a little um, a little mysterious. I, it gives a great base to fragrances. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the, uh, what you are saying. It's uh, seductive. Um, it's sensual. You see, that's the the, the warmest part mm -hmm. of the uh, fragrance, and it combines very well with the uh, the freshness. You see, and now. Uh, for the uh, dry down, I, I want to show you also uh, something else uh, that is also very, very interesting. The formula is, uh, by the way, very simple. It's a short formula, very uh, minimalist, about uh, 25 ingredients, no more, you mm -hmm. see. So um, all the consumers today now, they have a, a, a lot of uh, know-how, you see. And they, they, they can discover easily uh, the facets of the, uh, the, the fragrance. Um, so, so that's why, you know, the bergamot, they are not, maybe not going to say bergamot, but they are going to, to say it's fresh, it's uh, citrusy. The minty, I'm sure they are going to yeah. discover it. <laughs> and uh, and the, the dry down is uh, amazing because it's, uh, it's woody, it's musky, thanks to the uh, cashmere wood. And incense, incense, uh, don't, don't ask me why we have been using some incense. <laughs> that's uh, creativity, that's... Uh, the uh, feeling sometimes um, we can't explain, and uh, it's not we don't want to explain, but uh, we can't explain why we are uh, just uh, blending um, that and that. You see, the incense is also uh, that's the, the the dark part. You see of the uh, fragrance it combines very well with the uh, the citrusy, uh, and uh, also. It, it reminds you, you know, lots of uh, memories, you see. Um, yeah, I, ha I used to be an altar boy when I was a boy, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ex church, you know. Yeah, 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 church, so, exactly with me. Uh, you know, the, the, the cathedral of uh, Grasse, mm -hmm. down the south of uh, France. Uh, Grasse was uh, the capital of uh, perfumes. And, um, and I mean, um, that, that uh, product, the incense, the olibanum, in fact, uh, I like it a lot and um, I, I like to use it in my, my perfumery and also it has no, no gender mm -hmm, see, for, sure. for men and, and for women. And the thing is, all together with Amid, we achieved something, uh, something uh, rare, unique, uh, because we, I don't want to say it's a cologne, it's more than a cologne, mm -hmm. you know. Cologne is a bit uh, old fashioned. It's a new freshness uh, combined, with some, combined with some aromatic ingredients with some woody ingredients as well um, it's very simple but the simplicity is hard is difficult <laughs> that's for to sure achieve. <laughs> I totally agree now this fragrance for me is not quite as loud as many other parfum de Marley like Ojan or Herod yeah but there's something in the subtle nature of this fragrance that works it doesn't punch you in the face when you walk into the room, but it leaves a beautiful trail. Like when I wore it to work, sure. I got compliments when I walked Everyone. around the building. Yeah. And, and that's a good thing. Yeah, we're going to smell it. You want to try it, Carlos, on your, on your skin, on your sure. wrist? See? I have nothing on me today. Okay. I've uh, already reviewed this to be perfectly honest. So. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, uh, I'm, I've done that uh, yesterday and the day before. And I can tell you, uh, around the midnight, uh, I still smell it. It's very, very strong. It's very refined, uh, very chic, elegant. Uh, but I can tell you, you have uh, everything uh, growing in the fragrance mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, mean to boost the, the, the whole thing. The, the thing is, uh, we wanted uh, with Amid, uh, Julien, Julien Sprecher is the uh, owner of uh, Parfum Marley. Um, we wanted to create something which was uh, missing in the uh, Marley portfolio and uh, definitely uh, we were missing a fragrance uh, very fresh. So, so freshness is not totally, uh, you know, very strong like mm -hmm. you are saying, a punch in your face. But in fact, in the dry down, you have everything, the cashmere wood, the incense, you have the uh, musk, um, you have the woods as well, the blown woods. Um, the rosemary as well, you know, which mm -hmm. is the uh, aromatic uh, part, which gives uh, a lot of uh, uh, strength uh, and staying, staying, staying on, on skin. Very elegant. I, I love it. That's it's a simple composition, but really well done. And I think it's a fine addition to the Parfum de Mali portfolio for sure. And uh, 
Thank you so much for, for sure, going. For sure. Carlos, it was pleasure, a pleasure. pleasure. And yeah. uh, hope I can get to see you again sometime soon. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe uh, next year, uh, because we have some uh, projects with uh, Parfum Marley. Uh, so I might uh, come Oh, back. Might come little back. inside tip. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. Thank, thank you, Carlos. Pleasure. Pleasure you guys, meeting you. Thanks for watching. Yes, yes. And uh, Olivier Crespo. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure. Ciao, thank, everyone. Thank you.